Hey, how's it going today? All right, so today we're going to take a look at, this is, to me, concept number one to really pass the microeconomics or AP micro test. And the reason I combo these into two is because they are, they're basically mirror images of each other. They are different concepts, but they really are speaking the same language. So let's see if we can understand this first one. So in my unit three, what if we take a look at perfect competition. Okay, corn would be a great example of a perfectly competitive market because it has relatively low barriers to entry uh, and it, there's no product differentiation. So the firm becomes a price taker. You know, corn is corn. Okay, if, if five farmers are trying to sell corn and one decides to raise the price and everybody else has the exact same lower price, no one's going to take it from the, the farmer with the higher price because uh, you're selling the exact same thing. There's no product differentiation and there's a ton, the quantity is a ton. So, the market uh, supply and the market demand sets the price for the individual firm. And this dot, dot, dot carries that over and creates and sets the marginal revenue for the individual firm. And then, and then you look at this and say, all right, is this in the short run or is this in the long run? Think, answer it. And the answer is this is in the long run. And the reason it's in the long run is because there's zero economic profit happening. How do you know there's zero economic profit, ha profit happening? Well, the marginal cost, the rule is always MR equals MC. That's gonna get you a, a ton of answers right on the AP test. So that's pretty much included within all of these big five. So MR equals MC, right there, okay? So you produce there and you've hit the bottom point of the ETC. Uh, so at that point, uh, the, so many firms have ventured that there is zero economic profit happening. So it is in the long run. Okay, now a question might be, okay, what would happen to uh, market quantity if there is a sudden demand uh, increase? Well, demand would go like this, and the price would go up, and the quantity would go up. And then what would happen to the individual firm in that situation? Okay, now we're, now we're out of long run, we're back in a short run, and demand increase would be right here. Uh, so now you can see the quantity would go up for the individual firm and in the short run, in the short run, this firm would realize a profit. And then in the long run, what would happen? In the long run, more firms would enter up until the point where there would be, again, no economic profit. That concept right there is huge. Now, this is a quick overview. I'm assuming you have a little bit of background knowledge. I wouldn't have taught it that fast if I was just teaching it. But this is what you need. This is a big, big thing you need to know for the AP test. And then it's the same concept here, but now apply to labor. Instead of corn, we're talking fast food cooks, okay? Fast food 